so I thought I'd record a video. Happy morning. Happy morning. <laughs> um, for weight loss tips. So. You wanna say happy morning? Happy morning! <laughs> so I wanted to record a video for weight loss tips. Okay, I'm not, you know, at my peak or what have you, but I have lost um, well over three stone now and I've really transformed my body from a uh, podgy blob to... <laughs> a podgy blob! <laughs> to uh, acceptable standard size. So, tip number one, don't just have one end goal in sight, like I want to lose five stone. Because that's not going to happen overnight, and if it does happen overnight, the chances are you're going to put it back on again. Sorry to be negative, I'm not like that, but it means you've probably done a quick fix if it's happened that quickly. So, have loads and loads, and I mean loads, of little goals as well. So, when I first started, I wanted to be able to run a mile without like going, <sighs> like just comfortably run a mile, no problem, no stopping. Um, and then I started adding more and more, so I wanted to be able to be comfortable wearing shorts to the gym. And then I wanted to run 5k for the race for life, whether it's weights. So I've got stuff for my weights as well, how much I want to like deadlift, squat, leg press. Um, yeah, have lots and lots of goals and it'll be great because then you'll be ticking them off a lot quicker and you'll feel like a real sense of like accomplishment and you'll be like yeah I'm really doing this um have measurement goals and stuff like that have like a pair of trousers or a dress or a shirt that you want to get into um and you see the your body shape changing in it from not being able to do it up or you know you're pouring out the sides to it fitting better and better until you look amazing in it so have things like that um that's tip number one Tip number two, portion size. Honestly, you will not realise how much pasta is 75 grams and how much rice and how much chicken. For example, 200 grams of chicken. I thought, oh yeah, that'll be a chicken breast. Sometimes they're 150, sometimes they're 250. They vary so much. I know it's a pain in the bum, but weigh your food when you're first starting out so you know exactly how many calories, exactly how much protein, carbs, fats you're using. Um, and you'll get quite good at eyeballing it after a couple of months, but... I know it's a pain in the bum, I know it takes that extra couple of minutes, but it, it literally is a couple of minutes and it will really, really help. So portion sizes, guys. So tip number three, don't watch this unless I've just been swimming with, <laughs> bless him, knacking him out. Um, move more, like get up, move more. Walk to the local shop, walk to the post box, don't drive. You'll be surprised, especially if you have a static job, like in an office or your driver or something, how little you actually move it wasn't until i got my fitbit and i was wearing it and like the days where i was editing i was like it'd get to like three four o'clock and i'd have done two thousand steps and i'm like what the hell and i'm not saying that you need to get a fitbit you can get like the really cheap ones as well that just count your steps you can get apps on your phone that count your steps but it might just give you a bit of an indication like oh shit like i don't move enough so that's tip number three point four do what works for you so some people might be going out for loads of runs other people it's lifting weight some people will lose their weight and find their love of fitness through doing zumba four times a week the same thing isn't going to fit everyone so just find what you love try everything out try a mix of things like i'm doing something different pretty much every week there's a few staple classes i love and i don't miss but i am mix mine up so much i'm never bored and i just love it so find your thing let's talk condiments coconut oil ketchup even the one calorie spray if you do spray that 20 times in a pan that's 20 calories that you haven't counted for the ketchup you've put some on your plate and then you've used it all and you've put a bit more on that could be like 50 60 calories that you've not accounted for and if you do that several times throughout the day before you know it you've amounted 200 extra calories in all those little things that you haven't accounted for so again i know that it's a bit of a pain in the bum but just at the beginning until you get used to it and you can like roughly know what you're using count everything totally lost count six seven five <laughs> don't deprive yourself you hit two lower calories too soon your body's going to get too much of a shock when you plateau you've got nowhere to go um it's meant to be a lifestyle it's something that you want to continue doing and that you can gradually increase your calories once you've got to the kind of weight body that you're looking for so 
don't crash yourself out too soon. Be generous with your food. Hi, so I'm gonna clump a few of my tips together now. So patience and consistency, like honestly. I know I've only been on my journey for like 16 months, but the amount of people that have come and gone from that gym and the people that started at the same time as me with their weight loss, like on Facebook or Instagram or what have you, and they do it for a couple of months, like really dedicated, and then they don't see like the amazing results that they want to see, so they stop for a couple of months, and then they're like, oh no, I want to lose weight again, and then they start. And then it goes for two months, and they don't get good enough results, they stop. Like, it's a long-term process, and yes, you will start seeing a little bit of results in a couple of months, but you need to, like, look at it really long-term, six months, a year time, if you've got a lot of weight to lose, that is, like I did and do. You know, I am I can't believe, this time last year, how much different my body is and how much fitter I am, and, as I always say, mentally. And then, this time next year, I think, oh my goodness, what am I going to look like then? So... Be patient, be consistent. You need to do it longer than two months at a time. You need to keep going. You need to give yourself, as I said earlier, lots of little goals to stick to. So patience and consistency. Drop the excuses. They are that, it's a choice. I don't have time. I'm really tired. I've got a kid, work's really stressful. Everyone has excuses, their illnesses. I have all of them as well. And sometimes I am tempted to use my son or my business or the fact that I've got polycystic ovaries to slack, but it's a twist. And I would rather go to the gym, which will make me feel better, and not watch TV. So you decide what you wanna do. But stop making excuses. It's all down to you. Water, drink, a shit ton of water. And got a face mask on. It seemed like a really good idea to do all these different clips at different times, but now I feel like it's gonna look like what the hell is she doing? Anyways, <laughs> can't move. Um, I can't believe I haven't said this yet because it's like my main one. But don't rely on the scales and don't weigh yourself like every day, every week. Weigh yourself once a month. At the same time, so in the morning, on the first of the month or whatever, do your measurements once a month and do your progress pictures. Do not rely on the scales, look at your measurements, look at your progress pictures. I know I said it like at the beginning, set yourself little goals, so I guess that kind of counts. But yeah, don't rely on the scales, guys. Do you know what, I'm actually going to finish this here because I feel like I've talked for ages. And this obviously seems like a really good face to finish on. Well, I can't even move my mouth properly. So, last one, remain positive. We all mess up. We all have shit days. We all eat too much. We all don't get to the gym as much as we want to sometimes. It happens. It is life. Don't let that bad day or that bad two or three days escalate into weeks and months. Draw a line under it. Start back again. If you have a bad meal for breakfast, draw a line under it. Make sure lunch and dinner is great. If you have a bad day and you drink lots of alcohol, or you have a bad weekend, you have a bad Friday, Saturday, Sunday, get back on it Monday. If you have a bad Friday and Saturday, get back on it Sunday. Just make sure you draw a line under it, remain positive, keep going. Oh, and one more thing, another tip for you. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Follow people that inspire you. It'll keep you going on the days where you can't be bothered or you want to give up. Um, and also, if you're brave enough, start your own Instagram or YouTube, especially Instagram. Instagram's massive. You get people commenting in, encouraging you, and it's a good, like, little diary to keep track. Like, I scrolled through the other day. I had a pink top on. You'll see on my Instagram when you go check it out and follow me. Um, oh, my God, my face. Um, and I was like, I swear this top used to be really tight. So I scrolled through my Instagram, scroll, 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 scroll. And I see about this time last year, it was skin tight. My stomach was so swollen and now it's really baggy. Go look at it, but it's brilliant for things like that. So I hope this helps. I hope it's not too repetitive to what other people use in their weight loss tips, videos. And good luck for your journey. It's been the best 16 months ever. I can't wait for you to start yours or if you're halfway through whatever you're doing good luck i'm here to encourage you i'm here to help and hopefully we can help each other out in the comments goodbye